Hey guys, Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm a little bit glammed up today. I decided to film this bridal look for you guys. Now, a lot of you guys have requested this video, so I finally made it, finally filmed it. And um, it's probably because you guys see a lot of my bridal work because I do weddings every single weekend. So without further ado, let's get to it and keep watching if you want to see me recreate this look. <laughs> First, I'm going to start off by prepping my skin with Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I really like this moisturizer because it makes my skin feel a little bit tacky so that when I apply my foundation, it holds on really well. Today, I'll be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in Light Medium Sand and I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then go in with the Beauty Blender to blend that all out. So I've chosen this foundation today because it is a long wearing full coverage foundation which is perfect for brighter looks. If you're doing your own makeup on your wedding day or if you're doing someone else's makeup, you'll want to make sure you're using long lasting products as it will help to minimize the amount of touch ups you need throughout the day. Next for concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Light Sand. This concealer does have a thicker consistency compared to my other MAC Pro Longwear concealers, so a little goes a long way with this product. Now I'm applying this concealer under my eyes, just to cover up those designer bags of mine, and then with the rest I'm just going to apply it to the high points of my face that I want to sort of highlight. Then using the same beauty blender, I'm just going to tap and blend that concealer out. A good technique I use to really blend up that concealer into my lower lash line is I use a slightly rolling motion. So I like to roll that concealer up and blend it into my lower lash line. So once that is all nicely blended and I'm happy with my base, I'm going to set it with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight and Contour Palette and using my Ray Morris Middle Buffer Brush. So first I'm going to set my highlight with the middle shade there called Banana. Banana Boat Funds and Protection. Who else knows that song? It's so freaking catchy. Anyways, next we're going to move on to contouring. I'm going to be using my RCMA Shinto Foundation Palette with my MAC 286 Dura Fiber Brush. And I'll be using the two darker shades mixed together. Now you guys would have probably seen me contour my face before if you guys have been following me for a while that is So I'm just going to apply the contour shades to the hollows of my cheeks, the sides of my nose and a bit around my forehead Then again grabbing my trusty beauty blender I'm going to tap and blend that all out Once that is all nicely blended, I'm going to grab the middle shade here called Fawn and I'm going to use that to set the contoured areas. Now for bridal makeup, if you want to go a bit heavier, especially because you're taking lots and lots of photos, you can. Just making sure you blend it all nicely so it's not too, too obvious. Okay, so I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Now it's time to move on to eyes. So I'll be popping my usual base on MAC Soft Ochre and I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Then I'm going to apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Bone Eyeshadow using my Ray Morris Cream Shadow Shader Brush. And this shade is going to go all over my eyelids and help me blend out the next colours. For my transition shade or my crease shade, I'm going to use clay contour powder from again Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to apply that with my Ray Morris medium point shader brush. This color is going to go smack bang around the crease of my eye and I'm just going to blend back and forth, back and forth using a windscreen wiper motion. Next, I'm going to start building the color up and I'm going to be using my NARS Surabaya eyeshadows. I'll be using the same Ray Morris brush to apply these two shades mixed together and I'm going to focus that on my outer corner and create a little V shape. This is going to help me create more depth around my crease and also elongate my eyes a little bit. Then to deepen up the socket even more, I'm going to grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brown and my Ray Morris Detail Pointer Shader Brush, so a slightly smaller brush, and I'm going to work that color again through the outer corner and blending that through. 
Now, if you're doing this look on yourself, just build up the color gradually because it's always easier to add more color than to take it away later. Now I'm going to grab my Ray Morris Lash Line Shader Brush and my MAC Retro Spec Eyeshadow and I'll be using that color as a highlight. So I'm going to apply that towards the middle and start of my eyelid. Then grabbing MAC Shroom Eyeshadow, I'm going to use that shade to highlight the inner corners of my eye. When you apply a lighter highlight shade to the inner corners of your eyes, it always makes your eyes look brighter and more awake, I feel. Next, I'm going to apply those brown shades that I use on the outer V to my lower lash line to bring the whole look together. Then I'm going to line my eyes with my Dolly Wink Liquid Liner in black. For this look, I don't want a thick liner, so I'm going to make sure I stay really close to my natural lash line. And I'm just going to wing that eye line out just a bit so my eyes look longer. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my false lashes. Now I'm going to grab my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara and apply that along my lower lashes. Ladies, if you plan on crying on your wedding day, make sure you opt for a waterproof mascara because there's nothing worse than panda eyes on your wedding day. Next, I'm going to grab my Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki brush and I'll be applying my NARS Orgasm blush with that. When applying blush, I always like to sweep the color up towards my temple so that it creates a sort of lifting effect. Now I'm going to go back to Shroom from MAC and using a small fan brush, I'm going to apply this eyeshadow and use it as a highlight on the high points of my cheek. For my lips, I'll be using my MAC Staunchly Stylish Pro Longwear Lip Pencil and also my YSL Rouge Pearl Couture Glossy Stain in number 7. So first I'm going to line my lips and then apply my YSL Lip Stain on top. This definitely has to be my go-to bridal lip colour combination because it's a natural lip colour yet it still pops well in photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope you guys like the bridal look and hair of course. Maybe I should actually do some hair tutorials. Um, if you guys want to see that, leave a comment box and leave a comment box yeah leave leave a comment in the box below also maybe you want to see some different bridal looks like maybe a beach wedding a day wedding an evening glamorous wedding a vintage wedding um what else there's so many so many bridal looks so leave a comment in the box below if you want to see different looks and also remember to like share and subscribe to stay updated with future videos and i guess i just gotta go find a groom now <laughs> anyways i'll speak to you guys next time bye